Let's record Kiki. Hey, girl. Hey. 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 Hold up. Hold up. What? I, mean, I ain't want you to drop the thing on the floor. I'm here. Okay. I was like, wait, what happened? Thanks for checking in. Hey, girl. Hey, podcast. Hey. Urban Media Today. I'm your radio chick, Kiki Brown. I'm the millennial chick, Jerry Tipton. And I am the chatter chick, LaShawn Tipton. I'm so glad we have such a chemistry, ladies, yeah, yeah. because yes. not everybody on a platform that mm. television, which oh. Sean could not wait to talk about the I basketball. Run in here. Basketball heifers. Yes, yeah. I'm so. I'm They're so not even up. wives. Why do they even up. have a show? Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I, don't know. I say that the all the time. Jumpers. I don't. Is there anyone on there? I haven't watched it. That is a wife. Um. Mm-mm. No. None mm-mm. of them are. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Right. And they're big, grown. Can I say this? Ass bullies. Mm-hmm. I have. I, you know, I watched the show the other night. I, mean, I was reunion. actually surprised you said you watched the I show. I know. Yeah. You know, I'm coming out the closet for watching ratchet shows. Yeah. For a long okay. time, I never. I would never admit it because I was like so ashamed. Because mm-hmm. you know, a woman of my age and um, <laughs> <laughs> my mom watches them. She and a sophisticated woman like myself <laughs> to watch that. But I thought, you know, as black women, they would do a little better. Right. But out of all the little franchises, I think that's the most ratchet one, the basketball. You think wise. so? Mm-hmm. I think they're right. I don't watch the other ones because There's I don't know who to choose from. Yeah. Kind of so you got Bad Girls Club and yeah. Marriage Book But Bad Girls Club is younger the, people. Yeah. I, think, I know where you're These are supposed to be wives. Yeah. Yeah. These are supposed to be women. Yeah. They're all 40 plus. Right. Yeah. Or 30 Mostly. Close, mm-hmm. real close to yeah. forty. Right. right, and they act like big bullies. Yeah, I was so. so I but was, they had to because I think that's the check, and we got yeah. into this conversation because you were talking about it was just embarrassing to you. It's very embarrassing, it, and it seems like that's the thing. Like that's how television yeah. networks. That's what they want. Yeah, you know, but like, at a certain point. I know that they make a check from this, but yeah. when does your morals kick in? Like, oh, morals don't exist. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. you know, there, I got some student loans. That's why you have This too. Is Us. That's why you have Blackish. Yeah, the scripted mm-hmm. big television but these are, network these shows. These are so-called reality shows. So if right. you want to show, that, and I'm doing big air quotes, reality reality shows. If you want to show that, you want to show something that's something a little bit real right yeah so this is not in your character i don't think i could even do the show because it's so not me right mm-hmm. you know to be sitting up there you know bullying grown women right but what bothered me last the other night about the show is that one of the one of the women her name is og um oh she's the one evelyn got a restraining order yes but, but evelyn evelyn denied. it was who denied over table yeah <laughs> who, who tries to fight people so right she was threatened by her mm-hmm. but yeah. evelyn is a bully she she you know, goes after these women that really are timid and don't go after her. Mm-hmm. So she said, but OG, every statement that OG does make is is kind of like, she's she's real hard. Like she'll go, oh yeah, because I will break your neck. Okay. Oh yeah, because, you know, I will take your eye out. You know, she's yeah. one of those chicks. Yeah. You know, everything she has. And so she said that she thought that, you know, they didn't like her because of her skin color. So I thought to myself, what is she, chocolate or she light skin? She's very chocolate. She's a chocolate oh. sister. Very chocolate. She's from Africa. Oh. You know, uh, and then. You, you know, know her first name? Like, what is it? Old, Oldham or something Oldham. like that. And okay. they called her OG. And yeah. she, she used to play the professional football. No, so she's a, she's stacked. Like, yeah, she's, she's a stacked one. And yeah. she's like, everyone better chill you know, out. Yeah, so that's why she I'm like, like I'm going to get a restraining it. order. Because I think in real life. You know, them Africans, they don't play. They don't play. <laughs> they don't play. They big and strong. Literally. Like I had to like, run from a lion from school. <laughs> all my oh, life. Oh, all my life. life. Literally. No. <laughs> it's like lions, tigers, and bears. Hey, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Know. Know. You're oh, talking about. I get that straight You want to bully me. Right. You're talking about you want to bully me. The comments that that Lashana just made does not reflect on the. I didn't say it. Jerry the said. Advertisers or sponsors of Urban Media. I'm just saying. No, do I'm not assume saying. that every African is like, away from lions. <laughs> or or they went or they first okay. at the goal at the uh, finish okay. line on every <laughs> at every race. They <laughs> they some runners too. They some runners. They are some runners. So Come she on. ain't messing with she I mean I she feel like she has reason to be afraid. She does. She does she, does. Okay. she has reason to be afraid. She so. just and she I mean from what I saw of like snippets of the show, mm-hmm. OG is like calm but like yeah, like yeah, that's that's aggressive. You, you know what right. I mean? Like yeah. she don't have to be like, nah, you know what I'm saying? She like she doesn't she don't. she's literally she's like not that chick either. She's not that chick. Yeah. I said, ooh. 
But they 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 went at it. Somebody needs to get Evans behind. Anyway, I only said that because I, I only said that because what? I just like our chemistry. Like yeah, we got. Oh uh, yeah. So let me so just tell you. Combo, so but, those on. of you who are just tuning in, is the first time listening to our podcast. So we had a little hey girl hey meeting. No. Oh, and Lord. Sean Cook. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was so good. Thank you. And so Jared Jared was like, I think we need to do this monster. Mm. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, yeah but. I'm but she said, I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this. You got to make some spaghetti. As long as you make some bruschetta. Yeah, all that's all I ask. All of that. that. I just said we can do it monthly, but potluck. Right. Yeah, okay. Everybody can get this. Sure, you could come over. Oh, we going to fly on a pizza. All right. So, so we're going to. I, I, a lot of uh, people are upset, and I don't know if they traded places, but this is the story. So mm. Matt Lauer, yeah, you know I that's my that. dude. I did mention him. You know that's shows. my dude. Well, he's been like quiet him. for a very long yeah. time, yeah. and he was he's mad now. <laughs> he's <laughs> big mad. He came out with receipts. He was like, "Oh hell no!" Right, right. So this homegirl said that he raped her. Right, that you know they. Mm. I mean, it was. So she, her story is in this book, mm-hmm. which I'm pissed off that the guy wrote a book about Matt Lau. Like, why would you write a book about that? But I guess that's a good thing because people are talking about it. But anyway, so this woman said in 2014, Matt Lauer raped her. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Matt was like, no. Consensual. It was consensual. It was freaky, freaky. Yeah, freaky. It was real. I was looking at Matt Lauer like, Oh, really? I, I, did, I, gave, I did. I gave Matt a side eye. Yeah, like, like, is that Maddie? You can't yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. Freak, freak. Oh, anyway, so people are like, I knew that girl was lying. Yeah. I knew she was lying. She's thirsty. But Matt Lauer was like, so she said that Matt Lauer was victim shaming. Mm. Because he was like, if you would have said that in the initial like report, mm. right. I would have definitely had something to say. Yeah. But I was, I was letting you be great. I was letting you do your thing. You got your little money. NBC paid you, mm-hmm. and now you got this in the, you know, in the book. And now I'm speaking out. He said he talked to his family. And his family was like, "Just go," because he's lost. Yeah. Like, what is his game? Like, yeah. his reputation's already smeared. Yeah, but he was like 44 million rich already. Right. Mm-hmm. So he you sure know, was. where did you lose, Matt? Yeah. Excuse me. But now people, the page, but like men that. are saying like, yo, we can't trust these girls. These H's ain't loyal. Yeah. And now uh, before I smash, I'm about to, I'm going to have you sign this non-disclosure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if somebody <laughs> walked up to you and said, uh, before we get our freaky deaky on, mm-hmm. can you sign these papers right here, right here, right here, right here? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like, um... the, the only reason the guy should ever have a woman um, sign a non-disclosure is because he doesn't want it to get out about him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know size, work, whatever. How you whatever you decide. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign this non disclosure yeah. because yeah. I don't want everybody to know about me. That's the only way you do it. Uh, we won't tell anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, girl, you not know. No, you no, ain't no, got no help. Don't know what you do with Right, them. right. But, um, nah, I mean, it sounds like it's getting to that. But, you know, getting back to the Matt Bauer. Um, the young lady had sex with him several times. And yeah. then she yep. did the quote unquote, I mean, he did the quote unquote ghost her. Oh, he, he stopped oh. speaking to her. You know, oh. I'm not victim shame. I'm just telling you what I read. That be ignored. Right, yes. Oh, that was a thing. All attraction. this happened and then you ignore me. So I'm not saying I'm on her side or his side. I'm just saying what I read. Mm-hmm. And so, but you know, but she, she had sex with him several times. So she yeah. said the one time she was drunk, and you know, and she went to his room drunk, and um, they had sex, mm-hmm. and she tried to say no then, but mm-hmm. you know, since she was drunk, I don't think she. Could they were it. both. Drunk. They were both drunk. Yeah. You know, so you know, no one, no one deserves to get raped. No one should be. No, that's not, that's not the issue. Right. Mm-hmm. We're not saying that. But I'm not. I'm not going too many places drunk. Uh, at the same but, time, um, but yeah. there has to be. There had to be, and I'm not making excuses for him. I'm not. But there had to be some type of comfortability or trust for her to feel free to walk to his room. Mm-hmm. So something must have happened before you got. Now back in my little thought days, 
There was mm-hmm. a time where, you know, be like, yo, what's up? What's good with you later? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know, I'm just chilling yeah. out with my girls, but yeah. I'm about to you know, I'm about to go. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm you with you, too. I'm going to be at the hotel, why don't you come meet me up? Mm. Boy, you was crazy. You know, I ain't going to be there. I'll be with you. What's how you going to be there? So, you know what I mean? And so there's conversation. You're not just walking up willy nilly to somebody's right. apartment. Mm-hmm. You know, there's conversation like, yo, what's up? Meet me up at the room. What's mm-hmm. good? Like, yeah. Let's get it up. Let's get it on. Yeah. And you know, Matt yeah. was probably like, I'm not allowed work. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I mean, think so. I'm not I saying that so. she's I'm not saying that she's right. No. But ladies, check it, you know. Yeah. Just be yeah. just be careful, please. And I mean, because there's conversation before people do. There's conversation before right. they do it. Yeah. 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 Most mean, of the time, there is. You, know, you talk about it. There's some. There's some. I mean, kind of unless they were on that Wesley Snipes or they were on that, you know, you know how you Wesley always, Snipes. you always see, girl, you know how every movie Wesley Snipes was anybody killing it. <laughs> Um, ah, no. I ain't seen it so long. Let me go back on that. Yeah, it's gotta be an old movie. Yeah, it's an old movie. No, but Super Old. But, but. <laughs> I don't think it was that one. <laughs> I don't know. If we, I don't want to know why I'm smashing on Too Long Food. That's. I mean, you know, whatever. But anyway, was he in the movie? Was that another food? remark that I have to use a disclaimer? Yeah, this, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> uh, it's because I don't, because I like, do I like reflect. Wesley Snipes, and I like him, like, you know, but I don't want to see him as that full of a leg. I was just saying, like, you know, those sex scenes in the in the movies that they have as soon as they walk in the door, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, first of all, I've never that. experienced that. That doesn't no. exist. You look stupid. Uh-huh. But, you know, it's never that choreographed, but that could have happened in Sochi. Okay. Oh, that's you know, a lot of drinking. Yeah, a I lot just, of drinking. Yeah. Look, you're working, so yeah. you know a lot of that stuff is open bar. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, why do rich people always get stuff for free? Here's All my, the time. I bet you they they have the money. The, the prices should go up. Right. You would think. Right. I'm sure. Your net worth is what? Okay, that would be triple. Right. Okay. <laughs> not a bottle. Yeah. I need you to. Everybody's not a bottle. Not a bottle. Well, yeah, my that's bottle. true. Why rich people got free yeah, stuff? They get free stuff. You know, a lot of yeah, it's free. And we pay half. Right. We got to spend three hundred dollars for a fourteen dollar bottle of champagne. Right. Listen, just give me a little swallow. <laughs> give me a little. Then I get a communion cup. Let me get a soda. How much can you give me okay. for three dollars? Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And this is probably why. This is, this is probably what, well. Some some brothers that I talked to was just like yo. These chicks ain't loyal. They always out to get some money. They're bad examples out there, and it makes it it makes it. Worse for those actual victims, and I that part I yeah, yeah right. But, you know, because the men are fed up, the women are fed up. Now they making decisions to to cross mm-hmm. to cross culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like I'm tired of dealing with these brothers, so I'm gonna see what it's like across oh, the street. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna miss the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Let's go to Mr. Rogers. Yeah, we're gonna miss the Rogers neighborhood because there's be my neighbor? there's some some sisters that's done. Like they're yeah. done, done. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, I think we, we touched and on we this talked about this as a meeting. We take in. Yeah. We did. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, all right. So, what did you have to say to millennials? In the like, past, how's it for you? Okay, in the past, I did date a white guy. I, I did too. I, I did. I did, I did, I did, did not, I did not never, expect. I, mean, I did not expect it. It mm-hmm. just happened. Like we were friends, and then that's usually know, how it goes. Yeah, we were yeah, cool. We I, were I, friends. I think that's and, how all your relationships should yeah, be. Right, yeah, yeah. Black guys, please. Right. Be friends. <laughs> yeah, we were, and I, but I wasn't attracted to him like that. He was more so attracted to me. But um, you know, we were dating. You know, but um. There's definitely a difference. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There's definitely a difference. Did you want to elaborate on that? It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm not trying to point you in the face. Nothing, because when it comes to my turn, I say nothing. Oh, I mean. No, I mean, of course. You're going to. Yeah, There's a big difference, is. but I think, I mean, I don't mind dating outside of my race, but mm-hmm. I think. Oh, I know that I want to marry and have kids by a black man. Why? I, I really. I Why? just want to have. Race? No, not typically. I that's just me. Like I want full bred black children. You oh, know what I mean? Like okay. I want child my kids that have afros like me. I want them to learn about you know my our culture where we came from. Like I don't I, I don't mind dating you know somebody mm-hmm. white or whoever, but I don't know if I can be like seriously involved like marriage and kids. Mm-hmm. Like, you know so, what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna I'm gonna we gotta 
we got like less than a minute. Okay. okay. No, no, no. We're gonna come back in less than a oh, yeah. minute. Oh yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we ain't going nowhere because we. De- this we is gotta finish this. this. We, we, we gotta finish this. Bring it black kids. It's Hey Girl Hey the podcast on Urban Media today. Hang on. That's it. I want full black. Full bring black kids. And Nappy is one black girl. I want Nappy is enough. But we can't talk about the Africans running across. Oh my God. I mean, come on. Are we ready? Yeah. Hey girl. Hey. 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 So we want to make sure so y'all don't fit no other cultures. Yes. On the I don't want to. <laughs> but black uh, women are tired. Uh, it's the Hey Girl Hey podcast. Yes, we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Um, but black women are tired of brothers, and they're they're deciding to date outside their race. Some of them outside of their gender, like the yeah. same gender. I was okay. So I was gonna say it got to, that close to where I was like, forget all men. I'm going yeah. to the other side. But then again, what? What you said? That's a lot of. But then, but then oh, again, okay. I'm like. I want children, you know what I yeah, mean? And yeah. like, I, you can still have children. Yeah. I know, but it's not gonna be the same. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, if I have a kid, if I'm in a love man relationship and, you know, my girlfriend or wife decide to have a baby, it's just mentally, it's not gonna be the same because I know, like, I'm not with the guy. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. it's just, I don't know. Like, you I'm not against it. Organically. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to have a child by my be. husband or whoever. You know what I mean? I'm not against that. <laughs> I'm not against it at all. Like, that's a beautiful right. thing, but it's not for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously, it's not for me. Right. So. Okay. I like it. You just want to do it. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. So, there's this book out <laughs> called Interracial Relationships Between yeah. Black Women and White Men. 87% of marriages in the U.S. are between people of the same racial ethnic backgrounds. Mm-hmm. The number of black Black females begin to outnumber black males by 16. Mm-hmm. Black men are more than more than twice as likely as black women to marry outside of their race. Yeah, I know twice that. as likely. Twice mm-hmm. as likely. And every 100 college-educated black female, uh, black females, they are approximately 35 to 40 to 40 comparably educated black males. So and I don't know why that was a, a known. I mean, why that needed to be said, but. I guess, you know, they're trying to figure out who's unattracted or who's attracted or whatever. I mean, I'm just not objective. It's just like, I mean, Mm -hmm. if you say the right thing and you treat me the right way Mm -hmm. and you make me feel appreciated and I enjoy showing you how much I appreciate you, and it's further than, it's more than just sex, it's not even that. Mm -hmm. But if that were the case, I would be open. I would yeah. love to to meet an Australian man. You know what I mean? Like just really? a, yeah, a different culture. You don't have a no, no. I don't know who that is or what it is. is but that, I don't know. Don't think of a damn I don't National know. Geographic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't okay, know. Who that that word. Like, ah, that is that what they're called? Um, <laughs> is that do not reflect. Not yeah, yeah, another disclaimer. Another disclaimer. I'm just saying. I'm just oh, open to it, so and I think great. I think I was telling you. That in high school, I was um, working at the mall here, and there was a guy I dated that worked at the Foot Locker, and his name was Mark, and he was oh, yeah. white. And but I was just thinking because I was sixteen then, and I was like, well, "Wait, how old was Mark? Yeah. Mark was a man. Yeah, Mark no, was, was a really. grown man. No, he was not. No, he was, he was just a man by eight. He's like, yeah, what was he really? No, he wasn't. He knew yeah. what he wanted well, back yeah. then. I, I think I think we make this statement, um, you know, or or. Or the sisters tired of the brothers. It's not tired of the brothers. It's not it. Um, we we've already put some statistics out there that there are you know more women than men, mm-hmm. and that you know a percentage of, of our, our brothers you know date or marry white women. So it's not that you were tired. Sometimes you just got to go where there's a bigger pool, right? Exactly. Or where you can find somebody. Exactly. And then and then you got the other factor too that there's there's uh you know same same sex. You know, dating yeah. and stuff like that. So it's it's not it's not tired. I've I've, I've never been tired of the brothers. Um, and I've, I've, I've never uh, I've never uh, dated a white guy. I mean, it's just they are very attracted to me. But in, yeah. and, but in my head, you all know me. You know, right. mm-hmm. I go somewhere. The man doesn't look at me. He's gay. So that's <laughs> what that's what that's <laughs> what I mean. We just want to another disclaimer. Uh, you know, I mean, because I've had I had gay guys look at me because they mean, like her shoes is short. Her views do another disclaimer. <laughs> we're just gonna have to flash disclaimers, right. but I'm just saying. But you know, um, I said to say, I just, I, 
but white guys, they do. They like me. And I think when I since I started locking, mm-hmm. and yeah. I have the locks, oh, you're exotic. Oh my god! Like yeah. you know, I walked through the airport, and I remember this this uh, pilot. Uh, I was I was just talking to him. He was like, "So you're in this airport, you know, a lot." And I'm like, "Oh, I fly like every week." Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he was like, "Oh, he's just busy talking," and and I'm just just having a regular conversation with him. And I'm thinking, you know, he's just having a good conversation. So when I got off the plane, you know, they normally like board like after we're we're off he like found where i was i was like hey here goes my car and i was like oh so buddy pass i don't know meanwhile mm-hmm. oh, i'm so stupid but he was really like hey how you doing i'm thinking i don't you don't look like my type i don't look like i would be your type right it just looked like he would have like a little and this is stereotyping and i'm gonna put that out there i'm gonna stereotype right now mm-hmm. um it just looked like he would have had like a little small petite blonde hair girl you know yeah. what i mean and and just look like I'm a chick that would have like a pretty like linebacker, big tall dude. Like, ooh, I think, ooh, let me take a drink because that's what I'm looking for. And that's um, exactly but, um, what I'm talking. Yeah, about. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's not exactly. that it's not that I'm against it. I'm just having I right. Just haven't, I haven't met anyone I'm that I've been attracted I'm just, to. I'm just into so, personality. Yeah, I'm yeah, so into personality. Fun, yeah. fun, fun yeah, young of course. Boys. I used to be like, I won't date young guys. Yeah. But I met a fun young guy, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to date someone this much older than him. I met, you know, an older gentleman, and then you know, I met some people my age. But I, you know, what you're waiting for, Stella? You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like. Um, I'm, and this is to, to each his own. But I'm not attracted to women, so that's something that's yeah. not going to happen for me. Yeah, yeah, I can't um, see it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no no shade. No, no shade. Chat. No shade. I'm just good. No. But not my, not my cup, cup of tea. Right. So yeah. Or yeah. coffee or wine. Okay. No, okay. Or just soup. Not, soup. Soup. <laughs> yeah. not gonna happen. Now then you have one <laughs> lesbian's like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get her. Yeah, sit down. Because I got gay friends. I got, I got gay friends, you know. And I got white. You see, that's what people say. That's another discussion. That's another one. Yeah. 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 My friends are gay. Some of my friends are gay, and they are. Some of my friends are gay. I I just, I just thought that you know, there's nothing wrong with it, and maybe I don't know. I don't really have a, I don't really have a type. If you look at Mm -hmm. all my boyfriends, yeah, past and present, I only have one right now. I, I don't know. No. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> no. Yet yeah, you yeah. digress. Yeah. Yet yeah, you can. No. 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 I just didn't want to. I don't want to give too much out. But they don't. None of them look the same. Yeah. Like they're that's all good. different. Right. right. Every their characteristic, their personality, their size, their height, their weight, this, their complexion. Yeah. Everybody just looks different. So, so am I. Like you're like. Yeah. So just. Good. Yeah. So I don't have a type. Even so like you could just tell me a really good joke. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, I love you. Let's wanna go. Oh, you know? like, like, make oh, me yeah. laugh. Make me up. You right. know what I mean? Like, right. like let's have fun. Be spontaneous. Yeah. All of mine are like they all look so different, mm-hmm. and even their jobs are so different. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, rel- even religiously, they're different. You know, mm-hmm. I've, I've met some, and and I and I'm a Christian. Well, that's, one so that's, I that's one thing I so can't That's one thing I can't do. So that's one of the things that that was a yeah, that that's bothered me. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, the one guy that I dated wasn't wasn't um so much um like really deep in the faith, mm-hmm. but he had, but he was a he he was a believer, but it's a little it's a little different. But anyway, mm-hmm. he had more faith. Than some of the guys that I did that were that I would be so called evenly yoked, but that would be another mm-hmm. topic that's in, mm-hmm. would be really evenly yoked. Mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. but yeah, that dude was like really on point with a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, even like his convictions were really on point. So, some of the guys mm-hmm. that I've dated that said they're Christians, they're, they're, their convictions like they, they'd be willing to do whatever, right? And not feel any convic- conviction, a lot of convictions, it. yeah. So, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay. I don't smoke crack on Sunday. Yeah, I ain't good. Good. You know, yeah, I'll cut on Sunday. my heart. Like, what? Oh, yeah. Wait, that's and the thing is, he does. does. So stop. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I dated a guy um, who, when I met him, he was a Jehovah's Witness. Mm-hmm. And I remember my mother, uh, my mother's just terrible. And she raised us, she just raised us out of fear. Just, everything was just because she was afraid of everything. Yeah. You want she just don't let nobody see it naked. Like, yeah. what? So yeah. Yeah. today I'm like, no. <laughs> like, it's, it's so bad. And I tell her today, she's like, I never said that my mom. You tortured yeah. Like, you bruised me. But anyway, like, so anybody that did not believe in God, like, that was just like the worst. Don't mm-hmm. ever. 
And then with with the rumors of Jehovah's Witness, it was like you mm-hmm. thought they had a leprosy. Like, right, right. close the windows, close yeah, the doors, don't breathe. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't like, don't sleep. Ain't about life. Like, what? I didn't yeah. know that. So when I met him, um, he was charming, um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't look at him, mm-hmm. you know, that way. I didn't, I didn't say, oh, you're Jehovah's Witness. I don't want to date you. Right. I was more into the personality. Right. I didn't like him at first. But then I started to see how charismatic he was. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, eventually he became an ass. But, you know, mm-hmm, outside yeah. of that, you know, and then he converted. Okay. He well, he was just like, you know, yeah, yeah I'm just, uh, you know, I'm yeah, I'm here. Because I'm like, if you want to come to church, we're going to go to church. Right. And he converted. So I, I don't talk to him now. But but yeah. that's one of the things. Because when, you, when you're when dating someone, you develop a friendship. Yeah. So if you're yeah. able to de- develop a friendship with anybody, you sure. there's going to be some common some common things that you see about them that you really like and right. they will become your friend mm-hmm. and then eventually you will date and if it's a good company either they'll convert or right. change mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you know or you'll convert or change. Right. it depends on how strong you are in your faith because you know if you're not very strong in your faith i wouldn't say date too much outside of your religion because if you don't want to change you will. right because mm-hmm. you will be required especially if, oh, they're, yeah. especially if they're stronger in their faith than mm-hmm. you are in yours and that may have just been what you said mm-hmm. but like it, it's it's something that i've never i, I kind of had a crush on a guy in high school he was a freshman and i was a sophomore and he was um he was white and he was jewish yeah. and i didn't know what that was mm-hmm. then you know like I didn't really, I didn't really know what, you know, I really, mm-hmm. didn't, I wasn't into it at that time. Yeah. And I mean, we, we like used to talk on the phone all the time. And I think I told you this, my dad took us to the movies and he was just like, oh God, <laughs> can't yeah. believe take my daughter to the movies with some white boy. And I was just like, my dad, I love Jamie and Jamie. <laughs> and, isn't that funny? From Power, oh my God, yeah. I'm Angela and that's Jamie. Oh, but anyway, yeah. And Jamie and I just kissed. We just kissed, and but we remained friends. He was he was always funny. He was silly. He reminded yeah. me of David Schwimmer from Friends. Oh, yeah, and we still wow. keep in t- contact to this day. Yeah, wow. That's yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, we friends. just really good friends. But mm-hmm. you know, just talking about religion outside of yours, mm-hmm. right. I couldn't like I never met his parents. He met my dad. That was just not. So you good. weren't gonna meet his parents. Nope. No. Oh no. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not. Okay. But they let him come to the movie. They let my dad take him to the movie. Oh well, yeah. So you thought. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. You know what? I thought this came. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Jamie just came on out, man. <laughs> yeah, his parents ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask Jamie because they don't know. They That's don't not know. good. Yeah. That's not. Call them up, y'all friends. Hey, there was this guy. Uh, um. So I lost my uh Facebook page, right? Did y'all accept a new page? Yeah, I just did. So it got hacked and it was locked. I could not have no access. So all my photos, everything, client connects, That's all of that, terrible. gone. It's all gone. And of course, you can't call Facebook. No, you can't. I don't know who has a secret number unless I, unless it's Trump. Mm-hmm. But um, before we go to break, I just got to tell you this question, this this story real quick. So I'm going. So all these people are sending me friend requests. But people, like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, yeah, I don't know I'm these getting, people. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of them. And you know, when you accept a couple of them, I, it's they like roaches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like roaches. Yeah. 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 They all just, yeah. 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 just come. But well, one of them was a guy that I used to see way back in the day. He was a lot younger than me. Oh. He was a lot younger than I was. And I didn't know what happened to him. And it found, and later found out, according to his um, Facebook page, he's a bishop. Oh, what? He's married with children. Oh, oh. look at that. And God. I was like, should I accept yeah. his friend yeah. request? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Because, well, because, you know, the connection we had, we dated, but it was, it was, oh. physical. Okay, what was that? And I don't want to be like, you know, my wife want to know. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Girl, child, I moved on. I ain't got time for that. Mm-hmm. No, nobody, you better not question my old boyfriends about me for accepting Facebook. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. You know, if I'm dating someone or not, if the, if it's an ex or whatever, I'm gonna tell everybody. Right. But I'm not. So I'm not. If I accept a Facebook request from your husband, I don't want him. 
Trust. No. Trust and believe. I'm going to be on Facebook. Yeah, that's just I'm a grown woman. Yeah. I'm a grown woman. That's not how I do things, boo. And you know what? So, the thing about it, all of that is, don't people like get mad. They, they really get mad get about too stuff. Too many likes. She likes they get mad. Stuff. And oh, yeah, why? She gave a heart. You know. And they'll on, never, up. and they'll never forgive you. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's uh, good. Uh, oh, good segue. Thank you. Roll it on it. So you go ahead and you're going to take her friend request. I'll never forgive you. Mm-hmm. Black folks don't like to forgive people. Oh, Lord. I don't know. We stay mad. We stay mad. We're going to talk more about this. Hey, girl, hey. Hey. Urban Media today. Mm. You ready? Yeah. We need to get wine glasses. I know. Like, yes. Hey, girl. Hey. 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 <laughs> why black folks can't forget? Oh, welcome back. Hey, girl. Hey, the podcast. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Why, why black folks can't forget? Why we always want to be mad? Why are we, we just mad? Is yeah. that true or is that is that is that uh, a stereotype about us that we don't? It could be a stereotype come true? from some type of truth. Or, yeah. Or do, or do we know people who are? It come from. It come from somewhere. It forgiven. come from somewhere. Yeah, it, yeah. it comes so, from I know generations of one generation. You yeah. know what I mean? Like within your family, something happened, and you if it happens to you, you gonna feel the same way. Yeah. Like that's how that's how I think of it. Yeah. So we're talking about is it is it both them? Both them. Both, both them, them. John. John. Mm-hmm. So there's the unknown black man who was killed by a former Dallas police yes. officer Amber Geiger. She yes. mistaken. She had mistaken his apartment for hers. For her apartment. Um, but nobody knows. Okay. So yeah. anyway, she was distracted. Uh-huh. According to her testimony, she was distracted. You know, her evidence, her testimony did not mm-hmm. win. She was eventually mm-hmm. sentenced to 10 years in prison. But Only while, 10. But, but while Botham's brother was yeah. on the stand, he was just like, I don't want you to go to jail. I forgive you. And then he asked the judge, can I just give her a hug? Yeah. And the judge was like, yeah. People were pissed at him, mm-hmm. but then they were more pissed at the judge because after she, after her sentencing, the judge was like starting to speak a word to her, and they yeah. gave her and they gave her a Bible, I yeah. think, and was yeah. like, "You got a lot of time to think." <laughs> right. Yeah. To read, to read the word of God. To read, like um, five times over. Right. <laughs> yeah. You really had <laughs> ten years when you should have had more, but that's a different. She'll, she'll probably be out in three. Mm-hmm. So Definitely that's a, well. that's a different thing. Oh, but yeah. I, I think what happened, and and from what I've read, and I don't quote me verbatim but this is some stuff that i read that the judge when he went over there to hug her to she, say he forgive when she when he went over to hug the, the brother, the brother okay. went over to hug amber he said to her uh are you not forgiving and she said can i really be forgiven mm-hmm. and the judge mm-hmm. came off the thing and said yes you can be forgiven yes that's right because i'm mm-hmm. christian and the word of god yes, says mm-hmm. you yes. can be forgiven yes so okay. as a christian she did exactly what she should have done right now, amber, amber comma yep however <laughs> <laughs> I smelled it. I smelled people, it. people looked at this and said it was, you know, this is wrong. But we didn't hear the backstory. We just saw the judge right. who we don't see judges come off the the. the uh, well, they're not all recorded either. Right. And there's some of them do. There's yeah. some judges that come and will talk to you. Or not that I've been to court. Judge so Mathis. Yeah. He, but after to Judge Mathis, everybody's a crackhead. He's a crackhead. What's up, man? Smoke crack. That's a crack ants. Oh, oh that's, that's a crack I ain't seen him pray for nobody. No. Everybody's a crack ants. I ain't crack ants. But she did that when she did the Christian thing. She went, she went and she gave her her Bible and she witnessed to her. So, I mean, I, I thought that was the ultimate thing right there. I mean, she extended what was extended mad? to her. Why are we so mad? Because we didn't know the whole story. So I think everybody saw it and was like, "Oh my goodness!" And for everything that's been going on for Black Girl, yeah, people, I, I think that's you see the that? main that's reason why, you off. Like, why really? we're so upset. Like we, first of all, she only got ten years, mm-hmm. which was nothing, yeah. mm-hmm. and we all know she'll get off on you know parole mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Oh, she's out. Then yeah, she's definitely out. Then number two, it's just like if someone killed my brother, you know what I mean? I I can't hug the killer but like i forgive you that you took something away from me right you know i'll let god forgive you but as of me right now it's going to take me some time like out from a distance right. you know mm-hmm. it's not so, it's so fresh and everything that was going on mm-hmm. going on, like you said for black people we getting killed by cops every day yeah. you know like yeah. how you know i can't forgive you at that moment mm-hmm. and i guess that's how other people felt mm-hmm. you know like yeah they were upset about it so right. i could see why black people were upset but i also see his side of the story right. i'm playing devil, devil's advocate yeah you know because as christians we're supposed to forgive because it's not it's not for them it's, it's for not us. it's for us exactly and i think that's why he did it you mm-hmm. know because he you know him and everyone else is hurting so he's like 
I need to just give you this hug for yep. me. I don't think it was for her. It was it was for him. It was so for he him. Feel... So he can get that off of him. Exactly. And and yeah. directly indirectly put it back on her. Like that's on you. That's on you. But you guys exactly. are this. Here's what I'm with I think black folk are upset. If because you know we woman, met on Tuesday if, and talked if the, about it. Right. All of like we met on last yeah, Tuesday we and talked about, about this. If, if the judge were white, they would be mad. The judge is black. If the woman was black, there would have been a difference. Yeah. I think because the judge was black mm -hmm. and the woman was white. Yeah. With blonde if hair. both them with blonde, right, white, white. She was white, white. Mm -hmm. So if both them were Brad mm -hmm. and Amber were yeah. Jackie Chinequa. or Chanique, yeah. right, see? Yeah. Disclaimer. I'm sorry. Disclaimer. Sorry. 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 Definitely would have been. That's just a popular name. It would have been. It would have been. It would have been different, mm -hmm. and I think because I honestly believe, and maybe we don't want to admit to this, but because that judge was black, because they called that judge, no, they said those people called her police officer partner, not her partner, but a fellow police officer mm -hmm. who got up and started stroking her hair. They called her Mamie. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. This is this is a fraternity this is a sorority mm -hmm. so those who are in emergency services firefighters emts police officers mm -hmm. um even those in the military crooked and non-crooked they yeah. all band together they do mm -hmm. they That's all true. band together what if she was telling the truth i'm not yeah. saying she was but what if she was right. and this fellow police officer knew right yeah it was right. like damn yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just console you. I know I'm there for yeah. you. And and that's just something that, why you wouldn't you do that? Right. Yeah. But, she, right. but they were mad because she was black and Amber was white. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really yeah. believe yeah. that. I honestly believe that. Yeah. I mean, I, I got, I got like, again, I, I got white friends. Right. And um, if, if they're going through something, I feel it. Mm -hmm. You know, I would yeah. definitely feel it. You mm -hmm. know, so if that was a friend and we worked together and we develop a friendship, if you're going through... I'm going to be there to console you as well. Right. So it yeah. wasn't a black and white thing. I mm -hmm. mean, I think everybody. But maybe like, you didn't. But mm -hmm. I think that the consensus, I got into oh, an argument. With, not really an argument, but I got into a Ricky Smiley. Because mm -hmm. I talked about this on my live. Yeah. And he jumped in. And, yeah. he, you know, whenever he sees, I, I guess we became friends. But if he sees yes. I'm on, he'll be like, what you talking about? And I was like, why don't you jump on? He said, I'm going to prison. He said, there is no damn way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I would hug that woman. Mm -hmm. That judge was out of order. She was yeah. out of line. It was unethical. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yeah. And I was just like, but but Ricky, but Ricky's but Ricky. from Birmingham, Alabama, too. Right. He's yeah. from Birmingham. My yeah, family's from Talladega, Alabama. Yeah. And that's 40 minutes away. So there's a lot that they have gone through. There's a lot we go through here in Pittsburgh as well. Right. right. But down but south, yeah. On a regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On a regular. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I can understand he feels he feels the way he does. I understand anybody feeling that way. Right. Um, but when you when you look at the back story of it, or, and you think about some things in your life, and we all live different lives, it's different for everybody. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going to jail, but um, you know, if it were my brother. Uh, I don't know about the hug initially because it's going to take me some time. That, not exactly. That I yeah. That anger, definitely. Definitely. I try not to no live with that anger, but um, it would took me a, a minute to, to forgive, and this has been going on for a year. Yeah. Over a year. So it, still it probably fresh. took it, it probably took him over a year to like get to that point. Yeah. So you don't know what his family. His mother says she hasn't been able to eat. You know, she's been up crying. So it's been a year of going through this. Right. They just want the pain to stop. It's and not. It's the pain to stop. To stop just to subside for a little bit to say to that woman i forgive you because they probably haven't had a time to say anything to yeah, her in over a right, year right. yeah in her face to say i forgive you just for a little bit to stop that pain then that, i would they may that. have taken that year i was it's been a year it's been a year that, that was a healing process for them right so for that brother mm -hmm. because the one even the mother said she has 10 years or whatever this time to think about yeah. what she did yeah. mm -hmm. and she said don't just don't focus just on that. Mm -hmm. Focus on this police department yeah. and how corrupt the police department yeah. is. And, it, mm -hmm. and and it's like the, the, the longer we stay angry mm -hmm. and not do anything, yeah. the more this stuff is going to happen. Yeah. 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 So these judges are voted. They're elected. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, the DA is elected. Mm -hmm.